Hi, we're here, Anderson's TV at the NAM show. It was so early at the NAM show that they're still building the stand. So you're going to hear lots of banging and crashing and sirens going off in the background, but don't worry. So James has fantastically managed to uh, offer us a chance to have a look at their new product for the NAM show. Uh, so James, um, take us through it and tell us what it is. Yeah, you're going to be world's first doing this as right, well. Yeah, there you go. So this is the new Aston Starlight. We're celebrating our first year of Aston Microphones now. Nominated for a tech award for the spirit at the show, which is pretty cool as well. And Starlight's our follow-up product to the Aston Origin and, and Spirit. Um, they're completely unique pencil microphones. Um, I'll take you through the feature set. So we've got a sintered head. Now, there, are, there were mics back in the 70s and 80s that had sintered heads on. People kind of played with it a little bit. But what's different about this is the technology's moved on. We were able to control the size of the ball bearings and the porosity of this and nano plate it with nickel plating to such an extent that we can actually use it to control the sound of the capsule. Right. And it gives you a perfectly linear off-axis response, 30 degrees either side of center on the capsule. So this is really important in terms of how the mic sounds. It's acoustically nearly perfect. And it's also virtually indestructible. You can throw this thing at a brick wall and it'll still work, like our other microphones. Um, you might be able to see here on the camera that these two mics have got a laser. In fact, Stuart's getting, just about to get hit in the throat now. <laughs> it's, yeah, American sniper, literally. Yeah. Exactly, they're sniper mics. Yeah. So the idea of this is for recallability. So if you're in the studio miking up a guitar, you do your stereo miking, and then you want to come back a couple of weeks later and get another take that's the same, so, so you can drop in on it, or you just want to do another take that sounds the same for a different track on the album. If you photograph where the laser is on the instrument, then you can recall that completely. Now, on, uh, just a good look in here, we talked about that there's three voices on here as well. Yeah. I switch. I don't, we probably can't see that over the video unless we zoom in. I don't know if you can zoom in or come a little bit further in. But basically, there's three voice settings here. What, what do these do? Okay, so the voice settings are some pretty clever uh, pre circuit active induction filtering, okay? and they effectively change the way that the capsule performs. So it's not like EQ, it's, it's basically really giving you three different capsule sounds. The dark one is vintage, the light one is a modern sound, so it's quite airy and open, and then you've got a hybrid, which is a combination of the two. And each one has been tuned to within an inch of its life, so they, they each perform as well as mics that cost three, four times the price. So you've got three mics in one there. And the other feature we got there is there's um, three the roll-offs. Yeah. Off. You've got the bass cut, which is 1840 hertz, and you've got a 10 and 20 dB pad. And the maximum SPL for these things is over 150 dB. So they're just there's also things that you can't see, see on there, which we haven't released yet. But the, the distortion figures are a factor of a factor of 10 better than any other mic that's been produced. So with those specifications, the actual applications of these are virtually limited, this aren't they? Yeah, live studio, pretty much everything, broadcast. Yeah. So the next question is, how much? Always the, always the million dollar question basically. Not that expensive. So the, the single mic which comes with a clip is going to retail at £299. And the two mics together with two Rycoat shock mounts and a stereo mounting bar will be £599. So pretty affordable. Now, there are other things on the market. I think probably Neumann might do something similar and stuff like that, I think. Um, but a lot more expensive. So is there a catch or you just... No, we looked at the price points of these things and we, we, you know, we, we were initially looking at, at what the market does. So you've got a bunch of mics that are in the kind of couple of hundred pounds price point for a pair and then you've got nothing basically until you hit Neumann, which is over a grand for a pair for the KM184s, which are great mics by the way. Um, and we wanted to give people a bunch of different features that you don't get with those lower end mics and produce something that sound quality wise is as good as the Neumanns, but put it in that middle price bracket as we've done with our other products. Normally, most stereo pairs are, uh, are sonically matched. Are these that way, or because yeah, of it? Yeah, they are acoustically matched pairs. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's it. I think we're going to the next product. Thank you.